very good morning student today we will see about the practical exercise related to study of seasonal indices of arrival and prices of cereals or prices of any other food grains so in this exercise we have to see what is time series how to calculate seasonal indices or which are the steps to calculate the seasonal indices okay now first one time series as we know when we observe any numerical data at a different point of time that set of observation is known as time series okay uh, another definition of time series is a time series is a set of statistical observations arranged in a chronological order or when the quantity of data are arranged in the order of the occurrence the resultant the resulting statistical series is called a time series suppose for example if we observe any production or a, any population any sales imports or exports data at a different point of time say yearly or monthly or five yearly maybe that set of observation form shall be con constitute of the time series so that when we arrange any statistical data in a chronological order it may be yearly okay it is a time series data okay so there are four types of components or elements of time series first one secular trend second seasonal variation third cyclical variation and fourth irregular variation so as we know agricultural production is a seasonal in nature so here we have to see the seasonal variation what is seasonal variation so seasonal variation are those periodic movements in a business activity which occurs regularly every year or which occurs every yearly and have their origin in the nature of the year itself means these are the variations which occurs every year at a particular period of time since these variations or since this seasonal variation repeat during the period of 12 months they can be predicted fairly and accurately so as their repeating nature we can predict this variation very accurately or fairly these are the seasonal variation now how to measure this seasonal variation measurement of seasonal variation most of the phenomenon in uh, economics and business show the seasonal pattern but when the data are expressed annually there is no seasonal variation means we have to take a data month wise week wise or day wise however monthly or quarterly data quarterly means four months data frequently exhibit strong seasonal movements okay there are many technique available for computing or calculating an index of seasonal variation that is seasonal indices so the following are some methods more popularly used for measuring the seasonal variation first ratio simple method these are the very simple method simple method ratio to monthly averages we have to take calculate the ratio of monthly averages or method of simple averages it may be weekly monthly or quarterly we have to simply calculate the average then ratio to 12 months moving average method then third one ratio to trend method and fourth one link relative method now we have to see different steps for working out the seasonal indices so these are the steps very important in respect to your semester end practical examination the question may be asked the data will be given to you um, from given data you have to calculate the seasonal indices at that time you must keep in mind or you must write these uh, two three steps firstly we have to work out grand total of arrival of the years means we have to make the summation of the year wise data means summation of january february march april summation of the 12 months it will it will give you the total grand total of particular year then second step 
कैलकुलेट द एवरेज ऑफ ट्वेल्व मंथ्स बाय फॉर्म्यूला ग्रैंड टोटल डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व इफ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एवरेज ऑफ पर्टिकुलर ईयर वट विल डू विल डू द ग्रैंड टोटल डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व यू विल गेट दी एवरेज ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर इयर नाव कीप इन माइंड द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर कैलक्युलेटिंग दी सीजनल इंडाइसेस द फॉर्म्यूला इज अराइवल ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर मंथ डिवाइडेड बाय बेस इयर इन टू हंड्रेड सो इन एवरी टाइम सीरीज डाटा वी हैव टू टेक फर्स्ट इयर एज अ बेस इयर सो वॉट इज फॉर्म्यूला फॉर सीजनल इंडाइसिस अराइवल ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर मंथ डिवाइडेड बाय बेस इयर इन टू हंड्रेड ओके हियर वी हैव गिवन वन हाइपोथेटिकल एग्जाम्पल Arrival of particular months means you have to take the average of particular year. That is a monthly arrival of particular month means average of particular year. Here we have taken a uh, one hypothetical example. In that we have given a data from year 2001, 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Here we have given the seven years data. From this seven-year data, we have to calculate the seasonal indices. What is first step for calculating seasonal indices? Firstly, we have to make the grand total. Here we have made the grand total of 2001 as a 3,277. Then grand total of 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Similarly, then what is second step? You have to make the average. or we have to calculate the average of particular year so uh, grand total divided by 12 you will get the average here now we have to calculate the seasonal indices what is formula for seasonal indices arrival of particular month means average of particular year divided by base year that is 2001 where here we are taking 2001 as a base year into 100 you will get the seasonal indices so seasonal indices of 2002 is 107 2003 is 115 2004 is 112 and 2005 113 and 2006 is 139 and 2007 is 155 so this is about the seasonal indices this is very simple exercise okay thank you